Hi, everybody. Here are some questions for Form 4 at Math Chapter 1 until Chapter 3. So recently, I just let my students try these few questions because they are going to have their exam soon. I think you all will be the same as well, right? So let's try together. Do a quick revision from Chapter 1 to Chapter 3. Okay, let's look at these first questions. Given the function f of x is equal to px plus q, g of x is equal to x minus 1 square minus 3, and f of g of x is equal to 3, x minus 1 square minus 11. We want to find this value, g square of negative 1. Okay, let's see how do we get the answers. g square negative 1, it means g of g of negative 1. Okay, g of x is equal to x minus 1 square minus 3. If this is 2, I have to plug in 2. If this is 3, I have to plug in 3, right? Now, this is negative 1. It means that I have to plug in negative 1 over here, and the rest I just copy. Negative 1 minus 1 square minus 3 okay so negative 1 negative 1 will give you negative 2 negative 2 you square it you will get positive 4 okay this will give you positive 4 and copy the negative uh, copy the neg negative 3 4 minus 3 will give you 1 now, g of 1. Now, here is 1, so I have to plug in 1 over here. The rest, I just copy. 1 minus 1 square minus 3. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 square minus 3. And this will give you negative 3. So this is the answer for part A. Okay, let's try part B. We want to find the value of p and q, which is from f of x. So this is the composite functions that given by the questions, f of g of x is equal to this. So what I'm planning to do is, I find the f of g of x myself, and then I compare with this one, I should be able to get the p and q. Okay, let's try. f of x is equal to px plus q g of x is equal to x minus 1 square minus 3. Okay, so how about f of uh, g of x, f of g of x, f of g of x, f, okay, so let me copy first. g of x is holding, I'm going to plug in over here. Okay, so f of x is equal to px plus q. Now, px plus q, px. px plus q. Okay, so now I just do some expansion. Bring the p go in here and here. I will get p x minus 1, 2, 3p plus q. Okay, so okay, I copy this one first. Let me copy this one first. Let this one be the first one and let this one be the second one. So now this is f of g of x given by the questions. This is f of g of x uh, f of g of x that I got it myself. So now I just compare this 1 and 2, then I will be able to get p and the q. Okay, compare 1 and 2. So p is equal to 3. Negative 3p plus q, negative 3p plus q will be equal to negative 11. Okay, and I know p is equal to 3, right? p is equal to 3. 
So this is equal to negative 9 plus q equal to negative 11. Negative 11 plus 9. So q is equal to negative 2. Okay, now I already got the value of p and the value of q. So the next part, we want to find g of f inverse of x. So it means that I want f inverse of x. Okay, so I think I erase this part first. Okay, let me call p first. p is equal to 3. Okay, p is equal to 3 and q is equal to negative 2. f of x is equal to px, p is equal to 3, 3x three plus q, q is equal to negative 2. So it means that f of x is equal to 3x minus 2. Okay, so I want to find the f inverse. Let y equal to f of x. Okay, so y is equal to this whole thing, 3x minus 2. So now I'm going to change the subject from y to x. y plus 2 is equal to 3x. I move the 3 over here. It's equal to x. Okay, now I have changed the subject from y to x. So this is f inverse. f inverse of x is equal to, I change the y become x. x plus 2 over 3. Now I have the f inverse of x. Okay, so now I can start to find g of f inverse of x. g f inverse of x. Okay, so will be equal to this. Okay, so this whole thing I'm going to plug in here. Okay, now let's go to g okay g of x is equal to this this whole thing i'm going to plug in here x plus 2 over 3 minus 1 square minus 3 okay so i just com uh, combine these two together first x plus 2 over 3 if i want to combine this I need to change the denominator become the same 3 over 3 okay so nothing here it means 1 so I have a times 3 times 3 okay just remember you can change the way of writing it but you cannot change the value 3 over 3 still the same still equal to 1 right I doesn't change I do not change the value square minus 3 okay then I just combine these two together x plus 2 minus 3 over 3 square minus 3 so this will give you x minus 1 over 3 square minus 3 so the next step is to x uh, is to square this part and this part x minus 1 if you square you will get x square minus 2x plus 1 3 square you will get 9 Okay, so here same thing. I want to combine these two together. I have a times 9 times 9. Okay, so now I combine these two together. x squared minus 2x. Uh, plus 1 minus 27 over 9 you will notice that my solution is quite long actually some step uh, some step is not important you can skip it but because I want to let you understand better so so that I show more step for you so hopefully you can understand it better now x squared minus 2x positive 1 minus 27 you will get negative 26 over 9 Okay, so this is answer for part uh, part C. Okay, let's look at question number two. F of x. Okay, f of 
x is equal to modulus 2x minus 3 okay so the x is from 0 and therefore first part we want to find the value of k so on x-axis y is equal to 0 right so we know that the coordinate here will be actually k0 means that this whole thing is equal to 0 0 is equal to modulus 2x minus 3 okay and then we know that 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 right okay so 2x is equal to 3x is equal to 3 over 2 if this is not 0 this is 1 let's say then you will have two value let's say uh, 1 is equal to 2x minus 3 modulus so we can break it become two part 2x minus 3 is equal to 1 or 2x minus 3 is equal to negative 1 so later on we will get two answers but since this is 0 positive 0 and negative 0 is actually the same thing then that's why we have only one answer over here okay so let's try part b the range of value of f of x corresponding to the given domain so uh, we know that the range is actually over here from here until here so here I know is 0 f of x is equal to 0 and what is the value here when x is equal to 4 it means f of 4 So this will give you 5, right? So if we know that this is 5, okay. So now I know that the range of f of x is from 0 until 5. Okay, let's see uh, question number 3. Is it given that y is equal to this? Okay, let me copy down first. y is equal to... 3 plus hx minus x squared so I think I think I think I just rearrange all this term become negative x squared plus hx plus 3 and then y is also equal to this this is completing the square form and given by the questions h and k are greater than 0 so first part we have to find the value of h and k so here you, you can um, you can do it two way some students they like to expand this then compare with this one some students they will like uh, they will write to uh, change this to complete square form then compare with this one okay i think i, I show you how to do the complete square since that you need to learn the method to write the answers in the complete square form okay so let's see how do we do this remember when you want to do complete in the square make sure that the x square here the coefficients of x square here is positive and one this is negative so what can i do is i bring the negative out factorize negative so here the are uh, the symbol would you change okay so now this is already positive and one i can start to do the complete square so maybe some some step i show here you will still not really clear wh why i do like this so you will uh, it's better that you go back to my previous video to watch it again okay so since now this is 1 and positive, we can do the complete square easily. Put a parenthesis, square minus. Write x minus and always take this number divided by 2. I told before this, hopefully you still remember. And then no matter this is negative or positive, here always negative. Minus this whole thing square, h square, 2 square, you will get 4. 
and then copy negative tray. Okay, so the next step is to bring open up this parenthesis, bring the negative code in. Okay, so this is the first one, this is the second one. Now I just compare these two, I will be able to get the K and H. Compare 1 and 2. Okay, so negative K is equal to negative H over 2, so it means that K is equal to H over 2. And then here, H square plus 4 plus 3 is equal to 4. Okay, so I think I get the H first. H square over 4 is equal to 4 minus 3, which is equal to 1. And 4 you bring over here become multiply. 1 times 4 will give you 4. And H is equal to square root of 4. We don't have to write plus and minus because the question tells you that H is greater than 0. H is equal to 2. Once I have the value of H, I am going to plug in here. K is equal to 1. H equal to 2, K is equal to 1. Okay, correct. So let me transfer this value over here first. Y is equal to 3 plus HX, 2X minus X square negative x minus k square plus 4 okay part b find the equation of the axis of symmetry of the curve when we want to determine the axis of symmetry you can use this one or this one okay if you want to use this one the axis of symmetry will be equal to negative b over 2a hopefully i you still remember negative b over 2a x is equal to uh, 1. So this is the axis of symmetry. If you want to use this one, for axis of symmetry inside here, inside the parentheses here, it's equal to 0. x is equal to 1. Both will give you the same answer. Okay, let's try part C. Sketch a graph of the function. Okay, so by looking at this, uh, this function, you know that this is a set phase graph, set phase, and the maximum point, x minus 1 is equal to 0, x is equal to 1, so here it's 1, and it's 4, this is the maximum point. And when you look at this function, you know that the y-intercept is 3. So, Mm, you know that the graph will something like this will be something like this okay let me think okay this is equal to 3 and this is equal to 1 4 right and then you need to find this two point okay how do we get this two point on x axis y is equal to 0 right on x axis y is equal to 0 so y is equal to 0 this whole thing is equal to 0 negative x squared plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 so I just multiply this whole equation by negative 1 then do some factorization You can use the calculator to help you for this part. Okay, so this is a negative, this is a positive. Let me check around now. Okay, x plus 1 is equal to 0 or x minus 3 is equal to 0. x is equal to 3, x is equal to negative 1. So here I know this is negative 1 and this is 3. Okay, so this graph is not nice. So you want to give uh, a nice answer to your teachers, right? So you sketch again the graph. What you need to do is just show all the important points. 
negative three, uh, negative one, three, and remember to label the axis y x. This is zero, and this is three, one four. And don't forget, after you draw a graph or sketch a graph, write the functions beside the graph. So y is equal to negative x, negative x squared plus 2x plus 3 okay let me check again correct or not my graph okay so correct for the axis of symmetry part b axial symmetry is over here x is equal to 1 so how do we get the 1 besides doing this 2 method you can actually take these 2 plus together divided by 2 3 plus negative 1 you will get 2 2 divided by 2 you will get 1 Okay, let's try the last part. If the straight line y equal to mx plus 4 is a tangent to the curve, find the possible value of m. Tangent, it means that this straight line only touch this curve at only one point. Okay, so if I ask you to find the intersection point, how do we get the intersection point? You solve then simultaneously, right? But now the question is not asking about uh, the intersection point the question is only asked about the value of m okay let's say we assume that we want to find the intersection point and we need to solve them simultaneously so this is the first one this is the second one so one is equal to two i substitute this whole thing over here okay so um, the next step is to arrange all this term nicely in the quadratic equation in general form. Negative, okay, I bring this all things over here. x squared minus 2x minus 3 plus mx plus 4 is equal to 0. And x squared minus 2x. Okay, I think I write this one first plus mx minus 2x minus 3 plus 4 you will get positive 1 okay do some factorization for this part uh, so now we, we don't need to find the intersection point because the questions only ask about the value of m since that we know uh, this is tangent Tangents, we only have one intersection point, means that we only have one value of x. 2 equal root. I hope that you still remember. b squared minus 4ac equal to 0. b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. So let's do some expansion. Positive 4 minus 4, you will get 0. Do some factorization. m is equal to 0, or m minus 4 is equal to 0. m is equal to 4. So these are two possible values of m. Okay, so for the, this video, I just stop here first. Uh, for the ne next few questions, I'm going to continue for the next video. See you next time. Bye-bye.